Debbie Birch, and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism, and I'm here today to talk about an event coming up on March 7th, and it's the Toy and Train so Show in Sudlersville at the Fire Department up there, and it benefits the Betterman Club and the Train Museum. And I have Kurt here, who Hi. works for both of those, is a member of both of those, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the show and how it's changed since last year and what they've added. So welcome, Kurt. Thanks Hi, for coming back. So tell us about the show. What would people see when, or tell us about how it all came about and then what they're okay. going to see. Well, we have a, we have a, a railroad um, uh, passenger station, which was the original passenger station there. It's still there. And we own it, and it's restored, and it's open now as a museum. But it's a small building, and uh, we own several acres of ground uh, along the railroad tracks. Okay. And what we wanted to do is to build, expand the museum and make it larger so we could put train layouts in and things right. like that. So we started a fundraiser a couple of years ago, and we've been raising money, and we're doing real well, but uh, we've discovered it's going to take a lot more money. <laughs> Isn't <laughs> you know, that always have, the way it is? <laughs> yeah, have to, put in, have to put in curbing and, and ponds and right. all that stuff to, to build a building. So we're trying to raise some more money. So, that's, so we, we're trying to figure out a way to have fundraisers to raise more money so we could expand our museum. Okay. And we're nonprofit, and uh, so that's what this is all about. So the idea come up for a train show. Because we are a train, train museum. station, hat, and hand um, in hand. so last year was our first show, and uh, this year is our second year, and we've did pretty well, and we've expanded it this year, and it's twice as big this year as oh, it was wow. last year. Okay. Um, we're using the fire hall as the location for the show, and um, they have basically three buildings. Uh, they have one which is like a community center, mm -hmm. and then they have two other buildings where they store the fire engines, the big fire engines. Uh, last year we just used the community center portion, and uh, this year we're using that again, and we're going to be using one of the buildings oh, wow. that, that the big engines are stored in. They're going to so next the year you're going to use both of the other buildings. Yes, we are. <laughs> next year we're going to use all three right. of the buildings. There you go. So uh, uh, we're we're looking forward to that. Um, we have most of the vendors from last year will be returning. Okay. Plus, we'll have a lot of new vendors that okay. are coming for the tables because we have the expansion. And so we'll have a bigger diversity of, of items, both toys and train uh, accessories and, and train items. And uh, the other thing this year that we have, which we weren't able to have last year, is uh, two large operating train layouts. Oh, wow. Now, last year we had a small one in the train station, mm -hmm. but it was, wasn't much bigger than right. this area here. This year we're going to have two big train layouts, which will be about 24 by 30 feet each. Wow. Which is, which is take up almost half the building. Uh, one is an HO gauge, which is the half size train. Right. And that's the First State Model Railroad Club out of Dover, Delaware. Okay. They're bringing their layout over. And then we're also going to have the O gauge, which is the Lionel, um, which I think you saw the Thomas the Train right. on the picture on the on the PowerPoint. Um, uh, and that's uh, 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 Tally Ober out of uh, Ridgely, Delaware. Okay. And he does a lot of the shows and a lot of the stuff. And uh, the kids love his layouts because he's got a lot of stuff on it as kids. And he has usually has a little handout sheet where he has little things marks to say. You know, fine Waldo kind of oh, a thing. Oh, okay. You know, on, right. On his so, yeah, because the there's around. all kinds of stuff on some of those <laughs> so, train layouts. Right. So, uh, so, that, so that's a fun thing. So we'll have the two large operating layouts plus additional uh, tables this year. Plus this year we're having uh, clinics. Okay. Which we did not have last year. We did have a demonstration on the 3D printer. Right. Um, but this year we're going to have actual clinics in a classroom. Because the fire hall is a classroom that they use for the firefighters to, okay. to teach them how to fight fires. So it'll be tables and chairs in a private classroom. Um, the classroom holds about 28 people. And we'll have three or four of these sessions throughout the day. One of them is on DCC. Uh, one is on 3D printing. Okay. And the other is on um, uh, resin uh, casting. And the one on resin casting is going to be given by a guy named Chris White who is a professional, he owns his own business, and he, he makes model car, he makes railroad oh, wow. cars he, out of resin, and he sells them to Russia. He makes Russian cars, and he sells them over the internet to huh. the Russian people. Oh, and wow. uh, so he's going to be there, and he's going he's to talk about uh, ma making right. resin models and stuff. So that would be really good to anybody that's interested in that kind of thing. Interesting. Uh, so, um, and then you have food. 
Yes. You have. Yeah, we'll have breakfast and uh, lunch, and uh, everybody has commented that the food that the fire hold makes is really good. Right. They have they have their sub sales too, and they kind of sell out on their sub sales. There you go. Uh, uh, everyone. And what is the cost to get into this? Okay, the show is same price as last year. It's uh, five dollars for adults, uh, but there's a change there. Last year we had it children under twelve free. Mm -hmm. This year we're going to have it. Uh, children 15 and under are free. free. Okay. So there's about three more years there right. that you can. So if you got a big family and you got teenagers, right, you can. Uh, there are, you can bring them in and you know at a lower price. And we did that because we we would like to track more teenagers. Right. You know to the. Well, and get them the, interested. The, maybe right. down the road they'll start getting interested in the trains right. and want to take that on too. Right. So so there's a lot going on, and some of the toys that you have there, you have new used toys Both. that you sell? Both. Some, uh, most of the stuff is used because it's either hobbyists or, okay. or a dealer or something uh, that, are, that are into selling used stuff. So the prices are really good if okay. you want to. Uh, if you're somebody that wants to get started, mm -hmm. uh, that's a good way to go is to buy, buy used stuff because right. you can buy a lot of it for a low price. Uh, there is some, some vendors that sell new, uh -huh. that have new stuff, and most of that usually is discounted. Okay. And, um, and we'll have uh, the combination of toys, uh, and toys could be anything from these uh, little matchbox car cars and regular cars to the Texaco cars. I don't know the collector oh, yeah. the, and the Hess trucks. You know, they the still collectors. Get those at oh yeah, the collectors. Okay. Collectors buy and sell those. Right. And uh, they they have that stuff along with train cars and scenery materials and and accessories for your trains and okay. stuff. Okay. So. So there's a little bit of everything for everyone, and it's going to be on, again, Saturday, March the 7th from 10 to 3 at the Sudlersville Volunteer Fire Department. Yes. And if anybody wants more information, they can go to your website, right. which is the sudlersvillemuseum.org. Mm -hmm. I believe that's it. Right. Um, and, you know, it's a worthy cause. Come out and support you guys so that you can get the bigger buildings and right. you know expand the museum it's a really nice museum if and it has a lot of the jimmy fox stuff is in yes. there too yeah so if you've never been it's really something nice to go and see yeah. the uh, uh something else new this year which i failed to mention is uh, we are from 10 to 3 this year uh but we do open at 9 for what we call early buyers oh, okay. now there's an extra fee for that to come in at nine o'clock okay. from nine Good to ten choice but yeah but the guys usually the guys that come in between nine and ten are looking they want that first choice right. that one of a kind that the that the dealer has and they want to be the first one there to right. get it and then they get their stuff and then they leave so you pay a little bit of a premium to come in a little bit earlier wonderful so. All right. Well, like I said, the website, uh, SouthersvilleMuseum.org. If you have any other questions, go on there, and there's contact, other contact information. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate you coming in, and I well, hope you have a huge me. crowd. Me too. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.